this is the one and only Kiwi Design MetaQuest 2 battery head strap. It is amazing. I love it. You might realize this has been opened already. Yes, it has. I am just doing an overview and a few first impressions. Anyways, let's open it. I'm stupid. It was already opened. Of course I'm insanely stupid. Okay. Oh, wait. You didn't see anything. Nope. Um, before we talk about this head strap, we're going to talk about how terrible the default head strap is. I attached this. I bought this at five below. It was a great deal. But it's not enough because this is way better. Um, anyways, default head strap. Super stretchy. These little knobs. Insanely annoying. Squeezes my head. Stupid. I also, this is my quest. This is not a sponsor, by the way. Um, I got this at GameStop, along with controller grips. They lose track in a little bit, but they're better than alone, because I chuck my controllers, just like I did with the default head strap. Here we go. <sighs> yep. Um, this is not looked at uh, the package originally. I just repackaged it and yeah. Anyways, what you see first is this instructions on attaching it. What we see first is the this lens cleaning cloth. In fact I need to clean my lens. Good. Really soft. Good job, Kiwi. Uh user manual probably more steps on attaching this to your request but it's kind of common sense not that hard next is the manual or not the manual we already looked at the manual uh, this is the warranty and safety guidelines this right here is the um, back of your head cushion and the top of your head cushion yay very very squishy good job kiwi again I like it. Kind of the same plastic for facial interface, which I kind of snapped. Oh boy. This. We'll talk about this later. This is the battery. You probably noticed. Yes, it is chonky. It is actually chonky, but very lightweight. I like it. Flimsy. Nice job. And the cord. Ooh. And this little turning knob thingy. You turn it. And it stretches out. Charges back in. A bit noisy, but we'll get to the impressions later. That is all that is in the box. Um, nothing under here. Let me put that back in. Nice box, by the way. See this box? Now you don't. Come on. You have this. Nice, sleek design, but you might realize if I put my head against this, it'll hurt a lot. That's where this thingy comes in. This is the back of the head uh, cushion, and this is the top of the head cushion, and then this is the loop thingy. What you have to do is first, you see these two little buckles, one right here and one right here. And do you see these two little um, buckle inputs? I'm just going to call them that. Right here and here. Buckle in the buckles into the buckle inputs. Press it until you hear a click. Two clicks, actually. Like that. Next is you see this little strap. Push it in through the bottom of this little belt loop. I'm going to call it that. I don't know the official names of the parts of the headset and the strap make it up my own names and then press it on it's velcro and there you go you have completely set up but wait no you haven't haha -ha. see this thing you plug it in just put strain on the cord and then doesn't plug in fully so what you have to do is that is where th this thing comes in you might ask what the heck is that well, i'll show you be patient See this? This is the router. It routes the cord. 
you damn train. Stretch out the thingy. Put this end in. Make sure you put it uh, in at the right side. Otherwise, the Velcro, which is this little darker black thingy. Sorry. Push it in. Stink. It's still at a, a leaving a little bit of strain on the cord. Shut up, be patient. I'm giving you instructions. You can just press it through, and there you go. No strain at all. Yay! Okay, so two things I want to tell you. One, it's not about how tight the back of the head cushion and the facial interface is on your head. It's about the top strap or the top of the head cushion. Yes, I do not have the facial interface. I might have told you that already. Whatever. Um, place it on your head, but first loosen it up. Yeah, place it on your head, and then tighten it. Not put it on when it's really tight like this, and then try to just shimmy it on onto your big, big head. Uh, otherwise, it's gonna give you strain in your neck or whatever, and it, it will hurt over time. This is the product right here. 269 reviews, and it has a, it looks like a uh, 4.5 star rating or whatever. Um, yes. On the website, it is uh, 50 bucks. It is actually really cheap. Okay. A few things you might uh, want to know is when you're charging it, there's four LEDs right here. Uh, I prefer charging the Quest first when then the light turns green, charge this, and then you're good to go. Unplug both. I don't really have any negative first impressions on this thing. I like it a lot. This head strap is absolutely amazing. I love it. Um, out of a 10 rating, I will give it a 9.5. Only because it's a bit noisy. Oh, wait, if you guys want to see a face reveal, uh, subscribe. And in the next few videos, maybe, I will do a face reveal. And yes, I am 13, just so you guys know.